In this video, we'll learn how to use the new Genoma 2 Unity preset rig. If you want to get the mesh I'm using for this demo, you have to go to the Asset Store of the Unity website and look for Kyle and here you'll find a space robot Kyle, a model by Kyle Brewer. Beautiful game model and you know the format is FBX. You can open it in Unity, but you can also, of course, load it in Lightwave, both layout and modeler, so you can, you know, adapt the rig to, to the model or edit the model rest pose. So once you have placed the FBX file in your content directory, you can load it as a scene. The FBX file contains all the information needed to build the scene in Lightwave. So now the mesh with its UV and the texture images and the joints are loaded into layout. This rig is compatible with the Mechanim system in, in Unity, but of course if you want to animate it by hand, well you have to, to do that using FK. The Genoma to Unity preset can really help to make the animation process more easy and straightforward. So let's load the mesh in Modeler and in layer 2 we're going to load the Genoma to Unity preset. You should have placed in G2 bipeds and here it is Genoma to Unity biped. So let's adapt this rig to the mesh in background. Let's start turning on symmetry and from the front view I'm going to select the legs, move them like this, a little more, and then I'm going to drag this point here. Do not forget to keep the pole vector aligned to, to the legs and in front of the leg, of course. So let's go on adapting the legs to the mesh from the side view. Okay. Yeah, this should be nice enough. Let's work on the arms. So I'm going to move the arms like that and I want to rotate them. Okay. Let's go on the side. We can see this elbow needs to be aligned. Well, that's quite nice. And also the end should be moved a little bit. Now let's think to the body. Uh, we have the eyes here that will not be used so we can just delete them and of course I'm going to select those bones and center the pelvis a little bit, adjust the position of the neck and the head like this. Well that should work. Now if we're planning to use IK to animate this model, well we have to set a preferred angle for the for the legs. The arms are okay, they are bent, but you see the leg is straight, so we need to do something. Let's set both layers in the foreground and I'm going to select the 
lag like this and the skeletons of course and then I'm going to rotate from the side view like this about minus 12 degrees then all I have to do is to select this part of the leg and rotate again this time 12 degrees so now we can see we have a preferred angle for for the legs maybe it's even not enough but we will verify that so let's cut and paste the two layers in layer one I can save the object and send it to layout okay so here we can use create a rig to have the recreated in the next video we'll verify the rig and we'll test and describe the controls you can use to animate it thanks for watching